What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview vi video for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about a new feature that they added to the extension Flex Tools that allows you to quickly add glass doors inside of your models. So this video was voted on by my supporters on Patreon. Uh, Patreon is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, maybe you want to support the show, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So as a lot of you may remember, Flex Tools is a SketchUp extension that allows you to quickly add dynamic components into your SketchUp models. So these components quickly adjust um, inside of your model and they do things like cutting openings in walls and uh, they, they do things like allowing you to scale the size of door openings without messing up your uh, without messing up the proportions of your hardware, things like that. So Flex Tools is a tool set for SketchUp that contains a number of different um, kinds of tools. Well, the newest dynamic component that they've added to their component library is a glass door. And so I'm really excited about this one because glass doors have always been kind of a pain to me. So I always ended up just kind of using like Lattice Maker or something like that. And uh, that, that would give you kind of a basic door and you could kind of get by with that. But these tools are great because what they do is they add your frames and your openings and also your hardware in here without you having to go through and model all of them out. Um, as you know, anything with glass can get kind of time consuming because there's different panes and other things like that. So the way it works is really simple. So you take your uh, flex, your glass flex door um, and then you click inside of your model in order to add the door. And then once the door is in, you can edit its attributes by right clicking on it going down to dynamic components and clicking on component options. Um, you do want to make sure when you're working with these that inside of your extension manager you have dynamic components enabled um, just to make sure that these are going to work properly. And so this door is interesting in the sense that there's different levels um, that you go into in order to edit different things. So for example, the base overall level, level is going to let you adjust things like your width and your height. So if you have like a 48 inch opening, you can adjust that inside of your component options. You can see how this is gonna adjust based on that. You can also adjust the material that's in here, which we can talk about a little bit more. If you have any questions about that, just leave a comment down below the video. So you can also um, set this up to uh, if it's going to be a wall cutting object or not, and also if there's going to be a plan view. Um, if it's a plan view, what it does is it turns off things like your hardware and hinges and a bunch of the extra stuff that you don't necessarily want, so this looks good um, in a plan view. But the way this works is, let's say that I wanted to adjust something like adding a side light to this window. So what I would do, first of all, is I would set my overall height. So let's say my overall height on this is going to be something like, we'll call it 64 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. You can see how what that's gonna do is that's gonna make my opening bigger. Well then, I'm gonna double click into this component and click on my door. And you can see how in here, you can adjust things like your frame width, um, your doorstop, your sill, tons of different things in here that you can adjust. And so what you can do is there's actually an option in here to set number of door panels. There's also an option in here to add a side panel. So let's say for example that I wanted to add a panel on the left. I could just go down to side panel and click on left panel and click on apply. So what that would do is that would add a panel on the left left hand side of my door opening. And so one thing to note about this is right here your fixed door width under your door panels is going to drive the width of your door and then the rest of this is just going to fill in the rest of that opening. So remember I told this this was going to be a 64 inch wide opening. Well what I have is I have a 31 inch door and then everything else is made up of the side pane that I added. So in this case I'm going to say that this door is going to be 36 inches wide and we're going to click on apply. So what that's going to do is that's going to make my door 36 inches wide and then my side panel is going to be everything else. And so you can do this with multiple panels as well. So let's say we were to add another door in here. So just something like this. Let's go ahead and set our overall width on this one to 84 inches and click on apply. And actually let's go ahead and make it taller as well. So let's make it like 104 inches tall because we're going to add a top pane in here as well. So right now you can see how this just looks like kind of a giant swing door. Well we're going to go ahead and click inside of this and we're going to scroll down and we're going to set this so that we have two side panels. So you can see how under side panels there's an option for left and right panels and we're also going to add a top panel. 
And so we're gonna go ahead and click on apply. What that's gonna do is that's gonna set this up where my door size is, we'll go ahead and make it 36 inches again. Click on apply. And then you've got a side panel on one side a side panel on your other side, and then a top panel. So you can see how adding all of this in was really easy using flex tools. So you could also set something up with like a double door. And let's go ahead and make our example wall a little bit wider. We'll go ahead and add another door right here. And for this one, let's say that this is going to be 72 inches wide. And then we'll double click in here. And we're gonna set this one so that we have two equal door panels. So if I do that, so if I go to door panels and set two equal panels, set them both to be 36 inches wide, and then click on apply, what I'm gonna have is I'm gonna have two doors here. So notice this adds your two doors. It adds hardware in here as well. And uh, the really cool thing about this is I didn't have to do any additional work in order to make this work. So one thing I wanna point out in here before we go any further is I wanna point out that they're actually adding to their hardware library on the 3D warehouse. And what they've done is they've made it really easy for you to swap this out. So let's click a little further in here and we're gonna go ahead and click right here and click on our hardware group. And we'll notice when we click on our hardware group, what this does is this gives you instructions for loading in different lock sets. So for example, what you do and I didn't actually know that you could do this until right now, but you can actually right click on this, go to the option for 3D warehouse and click on reload. You can actually go find a different piece of hardware in here. So in this case, you wanna to go to the flex tools page. You wanna scroll down and you wanna find your lock set that you want. So in this case, maybe this one right here. And then you can just click on download. And so notice that this comes in at the wrong location and they give you instructions for this. What they tell you to do is with the newly inserted hardware, which is right here, you just need to activate the interact tool, which you can find in the flex tools toolbar right here, and then just click on this. And what it'll do is it'll place this hardware in the proper spot. So you can swap out any hardware that's in the flex tools library just by following those instructions. And it tells you exactly what to do right here. So in addition, and let's go ahead and add a door right here. Let's take a look at the style of our glass door. So we wanna click another level into this door. So I'm gonna click in here so that I can select this door panel. And then I'm gonna click in here one more time and you can see how this gives you an option for the sash. Well, what the sash is going to allow you to do is that's gonna allow you to add things like um, horizontal muntins, so like divisions in here. So you could click in here and click on apply and this would give you a division. So you could set this up to give you as many divisions as you want. You can also set this up to have vertical divisions if you want it to. So you can adjust this manually or you can also activate the interact tool right here. Click in this open space and what it's gonna do is it's gonna cycle through a number of different presets. So it's got a library of 20 different presets in here and it'll just rotate through them if you use the interact tool, giving you a bunch of different styles that you can apply to this door. So if you're just looking for a style preset, you can just click in here with the interact tool in order to get those different presets in here as well. So in addition, if you wanted to, you can also, if you mouse over this edge right here, you can click in order to add divisions. So for example, and you can see how it gives you a little button that says add divisions. If you mouse over the exterior frame, you can actually add additional divisions to this just by clicking on it. So overall, because of how time consuming working with doors has been in the past, specifically glass doors, I'm really excited to see this get added to flex tools. This could save you a ton of time when working on glass doors inside of SketchUp. Um, I will link to this extension in the notes down below if you're interested in checking it out. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.